All right, welcome to another Lane Creations tutorial on Splunk. Log analysis made easy. Our job here is to help you move from being a Lame analyst to a Splunk Ninja. What we want to cover here is the ability to use lookups to be able to wildcard search and be able to uh, mass change a lookup. We'll cover both of those in detail as to why you'd want to do that, but stay on, stay tuned. We'll go there. First thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the bots v3 data. I like the bots v3. You can get this from GitHub. Just go Google Splunk bots v3. You'll get the, an app, puts it on there. Just makes it easy so you can follow along at home. Anyway, I'm going to use this bots v3, and if I look at the performance monitoring, I can see a bunch of instances that's this field calculator crash plan desk etc and i'm going to have a a list a csv and i'm going to be looking for particular processes that may, might be firing that's my use case here so i'm going to go stats count by instance just so you can see all the different instances that are there from this data and remember when you use the bots data always use all time not a good practice but the bots data is time stamped so and it's back a few years when you'll find the first log so just use all time it's not a big data set i can see all these i'm going to come over here and here is my little disallow list in there i've got calc google crash and clip renew if we look at this there's clip renew we can see calc we don't have calc we have calculator Clip renew, and then the Google crash that's on page three, maybe two, one, whatever, Google crash. Google crash, unfortunately, it's called Google crash handler. So the, this lookup isn't going to match a single thing, and we can see that. I'll just make that lookup anyway, though. We're going to do lookup, and we're going to grab the name of the lookup, disallow list dot csv and we're looking at instance as and what's the name over here process name okay cool process name and i'm going to output the match field easy enough i run that it doesn't find that's interesting. Okay, let's put it in the right order. Process name as an instance. Now the error goes away, but we're going to find no matches. Nothing matching. Uh, what a surprise. Calc and calculator aren't the same thing. Clip renew, even though they're the same words, there it's case sensitive, and so this doesn't match. So what can we do? Well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. I could come through here and then rechange all these values. That's not pro. It's fine if it's a small group of values, but that's probably not what we want to do there. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to make a new tab, duplicate. What if you have hundreds or thousands of values in that lookup? You don't want to be changing all of them, and maybe you don't want the capitalization, whatever. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to do settings, lookups. If you've manually entered a lookup, you might have used this before where you look up table files and add new one. I'm making a definition. A definition is what you apply to a CSV lookup. Or if you make a KV store, you'll be working with definitions. And I'm going to come here and I'm going to make a new lookup definition. And that lookup is going to be called, I can call it whatever I want, but I'm going to call it demo is allowable. And I'm it's file-based. Let's go to this, YouTube call it YouTube is allowable it is allowable I come in here I'm going to grab that this oh we probably shouldn't call it YouTube disallowable something like that I'm going to copy it because it's guaranteed I'll misspell it I come down to advanced options first thing I can do case sensitive match perform case sensitive I don't want that I turn that off Hit save. I want to now make sure, paste that. Look, make sure I've got permissions to this. Make sure it's available to wherever I'm at. Right now it's private. I'll make it available everywhere. Read, write, hit save. Now, because I've made this, I want to use this definition instead of the actual lookup file. So I'm going to change this disallow list.csv 
to YouTube disallowable. It'll still use that CSV, but it'll apply the rules that I've, I've attached to that, that definition. If I do this, I should now get a match. There is clip renew. I didn't have to change my lookup. My lookup is still got it lowercase, but because I click that do not use case sensitivity, clip renew matches. So what do I do about calculator? Calc is still not, calc and calculator are never gonna equal each other no matter what I do. So let's come in here. We're gonna go to settings. I'm gonna come back into this. I'm gonna go advanced options. And I have this ability to match type. The way it works is you put the match type and the field name. Match types you can use is wildcard and cider. I love cider, makes matching IP so nice. But for this case, we'll, we're using a wildcard. And that, so match that, then you put it in parentheses, your field name, what's the field name? Field name is process name. You can just look over here and make sure, yep, that's the field I want a wildcard on. I hit save. Now, just because you did wildcard, I'm gonna show it, that does not just naturally make it work. Because you're gonna need an actual wildcard in the val in the lookup. But for this, I just want to demo it. See, it doesn't match. All right, well, I could go in here and put a wildcard on the ones I want, but that could be a really time consuming process, especially if you got hundreds of them. So what if I do something like this? I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna say eval process name equals star dot dot. These periods are the same thing as append. I could actually use a plus symbol, but I found the period works a lot better. That way you don't get confused with math. Um, it'll use them both, but I, I prefer the periods. It makes it cleaner. So if I use a star, so I put in the bracket saying, hey, I'm gonna add a star append to the process name and append a star. If I run that, this will append a star on both sides. Now I got wildcards. But in this situation, I don't need a wildcard in the front. So I'm gonna take this off, but I just wanna show you could do that. If I hit process name, now I've got this. Okay, but what do I do to get that in the lookup file? I'm just gonna write output lookup disallow list.csv. And I could make a new CSV. I could append it. So I have a calc and a calc star. Uh, so I could do append equals true. That means it won't overwrite the original. And I'd get them both. I'm actually totally OK with overwriting it. So I'm just going to leave it like this. I'll have the new list will look just like that. Erase these two fields. And we can validate disallow list is now written with wildcards. So. I come in here and I run this query. Calculator matched, Google crash matched on crash handler and crash handler 64. My lowercase clip renew matched and I am in business. Hope that helps you understand what you can do with some of these lookups that process the, uh, the lookup this, uh, Definition gives you a lot of freedom there. You can do cider matching, upper and lower case, things like that makes things a lot nicer. Um, I hope this helps you move from being a lame analyst to a Splunk Ninja. If you like this, uh, give me a like, and I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And I really wanna push the fact that uh, I, I produce videos all the time for those of you who just wanna come and view my videos. But for those of you who wanna support my channel, I have the ability to be join as a member uh, for a monthly subscription. It's uh, for $3 a month, you can join my channel and I have a bunch of training. I have uh, multi-hour courses on how to build dashboards, how to build searches, how to do uh, administration, things like that. And they're continuing to roll out. It, it, I just, it's a good way of helping uh, support the channel, help me get uh, keep this channel growing and be able to bring that stuff to you. And it's a little kick to you that when you, when you support that you get that additional training, that far more focused stuff that you'd have to pay lots and lots of money to do, we provide to all of my members. Anyway, if you, I hope you, uh, uh, hope this was helpful. Hope you'll join my channel. Hope you'll uh, pass this around to your friends and those who are working to get better at Splunk. Anyway, chat with you later.